answering questions on the floor of Parliament, the Minister of Interior, Ambrose Derry, provided an update on investigations into the war serial killings and he announced that three private security guards are yet to be identified by the police. However, efforts are underway to ensure that all the perpetrators of the heinous crime are brought to book. A special intelligence-led investigation that arrest arrest of 27 suspected persons in connection with the kidnap murder of the five security guards in September 2022. Right, Honorable Speaker, out of the number arrested, eight suspects have been discharged per the Attorney General's advice. Fifteen suspects are on court bail, awaiting the Attorney General's report or advice. And now, the current situation is that the police is yet to locate and identify three other missing security guards, namely Alasan Yaya, age 53, Sanguini, Camilos, 42, and Dadebe, Kwame, age 57. The three were reported missing between September and October 2022. No arrest has been made in respect of the said three missing persons. Right now, Mr. Speaker, the police has initiated a vigorous education campaign within the communities to sensitize the citizenry, mostly the youth, on security tips concerning serial killers and kidnappers. Currently, Mr. Speaker, there are about 300 operational policemen on the ground performing day and night mobile and foot patrols, including motor patrols. Police intelligence is also working around the clock for clues that will lead to the arrest of the perpetrators. Following the opposition to the new proposed constitutional instrument by the Electoral Commission that is seeking to use the Ghana card as the source document for registration, onto the voters register for the upcoming general elections by the minority, the majority in parliament has also addressed the media on Thursday, March 2, 2023, indicating that the new policy by the Electoral Commission will not disenfranchise Ghanaians. Then the CA alleges that resorting to only the Ghana card as proof of citizenship would curtail the right of citizens to vote. Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? When the exercise of proof of citizenship to be registered began, the Electoral Commission allowed the use of the following. Birth certificates, baptismal certificates, driver's license, passports, the guarantor system, national health insurance cards. You are aware of that. Now today, one after the other, the commission has peeled off some of these instruments of identification, that is to establish one citizenship. So that exercise then that they have done in the past amounted to restraining Ghanaian citizenship or Ghanaian citizens of the identity as Ghanaians to be registered. So the performance of the functions does not necessarily mean that you are eternally adding to you subtract from, sanitize it. What are subtracting? You are sanitizing it. And the process of also improving the establishment of your citizenship, you are improving and sanitizing and cleaning the system. That should be understood by everybody. So it's not just merely adding to the list, which is the function of the electoral commission. So the question to ask is, so when the baptismal certificates the certificate was taken off. Did this serve as a restraint on citizens' right to register the vote? Is that the case? When driver's license was taken off, 
it served as a restraint on citizens' right to register to vote. Is that the case? When birth certificate was taken off, that was also a restraint. Is that the understanding of our colleagues? When health insurance was struck down by the Supreme Court, that also amounted to a restraint on the right of citizens to vote. The group also accused the minority of habitually attacking heads of institutions appointed by President Ekufuado. Hence, the EC boss, Jin Mensa, is no exception. That they have no faith in the EC. I think it's the trademark of my colleagues, unfortunately. That any institution whose heads were not appointed under the NDC, they turn around to bastardize it. And start with the Electoral Commission. They went to the police, bastardizing them. The judiciary, the Supreme Court, bastardizing them. Because appointments had been made by the current president. Is that the way to go? As a country, is that the way to go? To the extent that one of them, one of them even made a wild allegation against the Chief Justice, that the Chief Justice had come here to bribe some members of parliament. Eventually, the speaker had to plead with the chief justice that on behalf of that member, that what he did was unsubstantiated and he pleaded with him for forgiveness. Is that the way to grow institutions in this country? Is that the way to, go, to grow institutions? The MPP had no hand in the appointment of Dr. Ferejan. We worked with him. Or shall I also say, we worked with him. We were there and her team. But now that no thanks to the quarrel that ensued amongst the commissioners, at the instance of a committee, a, a committee that probed into the activities and the conduct of affairs within the EC, they had to be changed and they were changed the very day then the attacks started on the EC. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.